up? It is Brandy Chanel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here on this channel, we do everything from hair, makeup, and pretty much all things beauty. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hopscotch on over to that subscribe button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to join that notification gang gang by hitting that bell button so you don't miss any new videos. All right, let's get to the subject matter at hand. I have not done a empties video in umpteen years. I'm just gonna show you guys the things that I've probably been using in the last six months or so. First up is this Precisely My Brow number four. I don't know why this is even in here because I haven't even finished using it. But I do like this eyebrow pencil. I actually received another one for free through Influencer and it's color number five, which I think works better than color number four. But I will be tossing up the packaging, so for some reason I put it in the box. Next up is this Honey Nut by My Honey Child Scalp Cleanser. I wasn't too fond of this, but I have kept it to use it to wash my makeup brushes or wash my wigs. So I'm finally down to the end and I'm like, okay, I can just go ahead and recycle it because I just wasn't too, it wasn't cleansing enough for my hair. Next up is this Hydrothermal Naturals Moisture Boosting Deep Conditioning Treatment. This stuff is bomb diggity. If you haven't purchased it already, go ahead and Amazon it or go directly to the Hydrothermal website. This is a great moisturizing while we're still in the hair family, let's do the Hydrothermal Naturals Amino Plus Protein Deep Conditioning Treatment. This stuff smells so good. It smells like a like juicy fruit or something like that. It smells delicious. It works well. Clearly, I love it because I purchased another one. I wish they made it in bigger bottles, but whatever. It's paraben free, mineral oil free, petroleum free, and it's pH balanced. Pretty much everything you need for your hair. Keep moving it right along. This e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser with Purified Water. This was just okay. I mean, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. I have sensitive skin and I have dry skin, so it didn't dry or irritate my skin. So it was a win-win. These are the Equate, which is Walmart's brand of the Colon Support Probiotic. It's supposed to compare to the Philips Colon Health, which is a probiotic. I absolutely swear by probiotics. If you have stomach issues or if you have consistent or well, inconsistent um, digestive issues obviously first speak with your doctor but also thorough probiotic in your diet and I think you'll see a huge difference this is my favorite MAC lipstick it is persistence and here it is it is down to the wire I will be turning this in because if you guys don't know already MAC has the back to MAC where you return six of their products used and they'll give you one lipstick for free so make sure you save your lipsticks girl lipstick lingeries these are my favorite liquid lipsticks probably ever i have purchased high end and i feel like this brand the nyx lingerie and the l'oreal are just as casket friendly as the other ones because they stay on all daggum day unless you eat something with oil in it then all of them are going to come off but if you don't these are my ride or die. All right, this is in the color Cabaret Show. I absolutely will repurchase. Next up is Black Opal Even True Conceal and Brighten Under Eye Concealer. This is cool. It has a little roller ball on it, so it doesn't really tug at your eyes. I love the color. I have it in uh, Toast. Mascara, Maybelline, Colossal. I love this mascara, and if you're looking for a cheap mascara, go for this. Jordana Quick Micro Brow Pencil in Dark Brunette. Uh, I don't think this was dark enough. For me. It was it was just too hard and it didn't do what I needed to do, so I don't recommend this. But I do like the spoolie on the end. True Match Cool in color C8. I wasn't a huge fan of this. I just didn't like the formula of it, but it did match my skin pretty well. So maybe it worked for you, just not for me. Are in need of a super duper hydrating lip repair and you don't like Carmex, I definitely would say go for Aquaphor's Lip Repair. This stuff is a bomb. It is a little on the pricey side, so I would vote for Carmex, but I really, really, really like this, this stuff. It's a MAC Studio Sculpt in the color NW45. I didn't really like the formula of this, so this will be going back to MAC as well. I used it a few times, but I just wasn't a fan of it. I did a video on this years ago and I will leave an iCard. It was like a Christmas box or something. I love this Katy Perry um, Killer Queen. I think that's what it was called. Mm, it's so good. I mean, the bottle is gorgeous. If I can find this again, I definitely will repurchase. 
Next up is this NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. This irritated my eyes, but it was really pretty. So I have a silver one that doesn't do that, but some, for some reason the pink one just was not brandy friendly. So that's going in the recycling. Um, I had these Morphe Lashes 218 where the lashes, eh, I wasn't that impressed. So I'm going back to my normal Ardell. Last but not least is this Shani Cosmetics Hydrating Foundation Primer with Hyaluronic Acid. This primer is the bomb diggity. So if you can get your hands on it, it's made in the USA. Yeah. All right, guys, that is it. I'm sure I talked really fast because I'm trying to hurry up and get this video over with before my battery dies. So thanks for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thumbs up the video. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.